Hi guys. So it's been five months since my uh, first video on my Malifaux terrain project. That first video only showed the planning stage. I showed where I got my inspiration from. I showed my planning notes and how my little sketch of the uh, building that I was going to be making. Uh, and I haven't posted anything since then. But I have done a lot of building. I've done a lot of work. Uh, and it's actually almost ready for painting. Um, and here it is. So I started with the first three levels. Um, the base is just a, um, a piece of sort of thin chipboard, I think it's sort of half a centimetre. Um, and then I built up a sort of a rock uh, foundation out of pink polystyrene, um, curved off the edges and made a bit, this a bit of a uh, ramp up there. Um, glued a couple of pieces of bark onto the outside which are going to be painted up as rock and the rest is just going to be flocked um, with some dead grass and whatnot. Um, and then for the actual walls itself, they're just made out of um, foam core. Uh, and if you look closely, um, there's a brick pattern carved into all, all the sides, all on the outside, um, which I'll, I, I might cover in a separate video. Uh, all of the levels are, are modular, so I can, they can come apart, so guys can go inside. Um, and the floor is just made of uh, foam core as well. The staircase and, and ladder on the outside, they're just made of balsa wood, which I've glued in. Um, I'll take the first two, last two layers off. So the stairs go up to the first level with sort of wooden uh, top up there as well. So um, I've got the windows there with window sills and little uh, balsa wood window frames on there. The first few layers are sort of supposed to be Wild West themed, it's kind of rickety and uh, a bit um, bit sort of thrown together, um, as well as the the brick pattern, uh, the, the, the brick foundation of the actual walls itself. Um, if anyone, anyone watching this plays Malifaux, they know the eclectic uh, bunch of themes within the game itself, so this building is really supposed to represent that as I explained in the first video. Um, so then the second story, I've got the little doorway there and the ladder up to the, uh, the next balcony for the third level. I've then got some tiles um, which are just cut out, cut out of card and stuck on, a little hole in the, uh, in the floor which, which is why there's that pile of rubble down there. Um, the, basically what I've done is I've covered the outside of the uh, foam core with just a wall plaster, like a wall filler. Um, sort of stippled it on with a brush and worked into all the uh, the details so it doesn't totally ruin them but um, gives it a bit of strength uh, because it was a bit floppy and because I'd carved all the brickwork in it was a bit soft and uh, delicate so I sort of slapped all the uh, all the plaster on there to give it a bit of strength and it also sort of creates a bit of a rendered effect which I quite like. Um, it's not going to be this white obviously once it's all painted but that's just the colour of the, the effect. And I've got the third level all the levels pop in like that, um, which has got a big hole in the side uh, and another doorway over there and a couple more windows so there's nice big access to that level as well. Um, what else can I say about that? I don't know. Oh yeah, my original plan was actually going to be four stories and then the top floor but I don't know, I don't know if I sort of got lazy or forgot but the um, this level here is sort of the top floor. Um, it was going to be like one higher with then with this sitting on top, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. We're, but we're doing it this way instead now. Um, and basically the same idea. I've got a big, big gaping hole there where something hit it, um, some magical explosion or cannonball or something. I don't know. Um, same set uh, tiling on the on that floor, uh, and the walls are just small, so guys can still stand around up there. I've still got to fill these gaps in there, in between the posts and the and the brick walls, um, and plaster everything up. And then that floor is pretty much ready. This is all just balsa wood frame here. And the last thing that I've been working on is the roof. Uh, now this is a little bit, it's still got quite a bit to go. I've just done all the shingles on all four sides. And that's oh actually whoa! <laughs> I just noticed I haven't finished that side. Um, so I've done yeah all those shingles there. I've just got to um, I've got some. That's just made of cardboard. I might post a link to some other other hobbyist videos. I know Viv um, in Melbourne 
gave me the original idea, but I'm sure lots of other people have done it as well. I'll post a link in the comment in the description to how you can do that. It's dead easy and uh, so fast and quick and easy and cheap as well. Um, and then I've got this. The same cardboard is going to basically be the trimming on all on all uh, four corners. And the core is just made of balsa wood. Um, and yeah, so that's dead easy. Uh, and then that's just going to that's going to sit on top. And then the piece de resistance of this uh, this bit of terrain is the bell uh, with the gears. I've got one of the gears has fallen off, but that's going to get glued in there, and that's going to look real good. And hmm, it's a bit hard to show you with uh, one hand holding the camera, but basically, I've got those two struts along the bottom there, and this is going to uh, basically. Oh, there you go. That, that white frame that I've attached the bell to is going to sit on those struts. Now the only other thing I've got to work on for this piece is that I need some sort of generator or some kind of uh, motor or something that's going to actually power the bell. I'm not really sure. Maybe I should... Because there's some holes in the, uh, in the roof, so you're going to be able to see in there. So I want some sort of mechanism so it actually makes sense about how this thing actually works. Obviously, you know, in the world of Malifaux, they've got soul stones to control to power machines and there's lots of magical abilities in there but I want it to I don't just want it to be freestanding gears and a bell so um I also fixed that this ring-a-ding ding, -ding. <laughs> I don't know what it's called leave me alone uh fix that in place just by using some um das in there and that sort of set it in place um yeah so that's my part two update um Sorry it's been so long guys, any of you that were keen to see get this, see this get finished, um, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to finish this off and start painting and I'll give you another update soon. Thanks guys, see ya. So there's the latest on my big terrain project. Uh, as you can tell I've deviated slightly from my original plans that I sketched out back in the first video nearly six months ago, but it's definitely Malifaux inspired, uh, those guys in the weird place that uh, I'm going to be sharing this with on Facebook. Uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate it, uh, and anyone else that likes terrain making and uh, miniature gaming, hopefully you'll get a kick out of this video, and uh, you'll follow me as I get this piece done. Thanks guys, see ya. <laughs>